we are going to pass this macro input parameters which is a huge reason to use a macro now in the past we've seen the macro create statement very simple of saying create macro macro name as and then we started with an open paren and we ran the queries in our macro but this is extremely important this time we're going to put a variable in here that we'll pass in when we execute the macro. So here's the way it's going to work. Create macro macro name open paren. I've got a variable called in underscore depth underscore no and it's an integer close paren. Now the macro says I'm expecting input to be passed to me and then you see the word as and then open paren, select everything from employee table where depth no equals colon, which means, oh, it's that variable that we're passing up here in underscore depth no, semicolon, close paren, semicolon. Now, we create the macro, and when we execute it and we put a 400 in there, it says, oh, you wanted me to select everything from the employee table where the department number is equal to 400. The beauty of this is each time I run the macro, I can put a different parameter in. Hey, let's put 300 in next time, 200 in next time. So I build it once, and then no matter what I'm looking for, the macro is going to go find it each time I execute. Now, to really show off this point, because this is where you will see an error, I want you to look here we've created our macro. We've got our in-depth no up there. I've got it in red for you. If we run this macro by saying execute the macro and we don't pass it a parameter, it errors and it throws a fit. Let me describe this in human terms. Every night I want you to go to your kid's room, give them a kiss goodnight and give them a little cookie. And then one night, about 30 days later, go and give them a big old kiss and say goodnight. They're going to say, where's my cookie? That's exactly what the macro says. I'm expecting my cookie, and if you don't get it, it throws a little fitty. Here we're going to have immediate success because we've got our parameter. When we execute it, we give it its cookie and say, here's department 400, and it's going to work perfect every time. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. If you have questions, we have answers. Check out coughingdw.com for some great offers on our training books. Unleash the genius within. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.